Are you looking for the best emergency survival gear? Well, in this video, I will be showing you the must-have emergency gear you need to survive. Hey, it's David Dill here from The Gearshire, where we connect outdoor enthusiasts like yourself to the best gear on the market. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit that subscribe button. And all the links to everything mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description below. Let's face it, stuff happens, and we need to be prepared to survive in the harshest of living conditions. One of the best ways to be prepared for an emergency is to have all the right survival gear on hand. Make sure that you are stocked up on the right survival gear that will actually be beneficial for you in emergency situations. I want to make sure you have the top survival gear items on your emergency gear list. That's why I've compiled the list of some of the best survival gear in case of emergency. Check it out. This is the Bear Grylls Compact Fire Starter. Stash this tool in a pocket or attach it to a keychain or backpack for quick access. The simple two-piece design makes it easy to use, even if you're working in the cold or wearing gloves. It's made from anodized aluminum and textured rubber for strength and grip. With a water-resistant design, it even works in the rain. Bear's Priorities of Survival Pocket Guide will show you how to do it and this tool will help you get it done. This is the Bear Grylls Compact Fire Starter. The Igniter T has a high carbon stainless steel blade with a dark gray titanium nitride finish. The 3.38 inch high hollow grind blade comes in a modified drop point style with exclusive patented VAP serrations which offer exceptional cutting of fibrous materials. The frame utilizes our rigid interframe build with a stainless steel locking liner and textured G10 scales to provide a tough all weather grip. Unique to the Igniter series is the combined outburst assisted opening with the patented fire safe mechanism. The blade is safely locked closed by the fire safe pin. Once the safety button on the end of the thumb stud is firmly depressed and nudged outward, the blade springs open for instant use. The Igniter series are high tech folders that are designed to excel in a variety of field utility tasks. This is the Mystery Ranch Scree one of the most versatile packs that we make. At 32 liters, this is an ideal bag for hiking, travel, or climbing. This pack is built with a 210 denier fabric to cut weight, urethane coated YKK zippers all around, Duraflex buckles, densified urethane foam in the shoulder pads, and ventilated aerospace mesh along the body panel to reduce moisture. Feature sets of the scree include dual water bottle pockets on each side, front and side compression straps, tool loops that are adjustable for trekking poles or ice tools, two detail pockets on the lid with urethane coated zippers to protect smaller items, as well as hydration port on the top of the body panel for a bladder. The pocketed waist belts of the scree are also removable. Simply release the G-hooks on both sides. Break the Velcro behind the lumbar and slide the pad all the way through. To reinsert the waist belt, simply thread one pad underneath the lumbar, seat the Velcro, and reattach the G hook. The three zip design gives you easy access into the main compartment of the bag. This gives access to the bladder on the body panel or two vertical storage pockets on each side. Hey, this is Toby, and this is the UC35 V2 from Phoenix. Fitted with the Cree XPL high intensity LED for ultra clarity, this light can throw 1,000 lumens 291 yards. Instantly activate the UC35 V2 with the tactical tail switch and cycle through five brightness levels in strobe with its stainless steel side switch. A one lumen moonlight level is great for up close tasks and allows for up to 800 hours of runtime. Always know the status of the included high capacity 3500 milliamp hour lithium ion battery with the built-in battery level indicator. And easily recharge this flashlight via the micro USB port, improved for faster charging and easier operation. 
At one inch round and five and a half inches long, it's not only a great size, but it is built tough with a dust proof and waterproof IP68 rating. This is the MP1. This is the latest evolution of the Gerber multi-tool. The MP1 lives in a sturdy sheath that attaches to your belt or slips into a gear bag. The rock solid body of the tool features scales made of virtually indestructible G10 composite. So it's light, grippy, and can really take a beating. The components are conveniently accessible when the handles are closed and lock safely open when in use. The components include nice big fine edge and serrated 420 HC steel blades, a small utility blade that can stand up to heavier torque, an extremely strong pry bar that also functions as a bottle opener, both large and small flat head drivers, and a versatile magnetic bit driver that comes loaded with a commonly used number two Phillips, but can be used with other standard bits. The spring-loaded handles butterfly open to reveal needle-nose jaws forged from 6150 carbon steel and are significantly stronger than standard cast versions. They include wire strippers and diagonal cutters for electrical projects. This might be the greatest multi-tool Gerber has ever made and the last multi-tool you'll ever need. Proudly built in Portland, Oregon, this is the MP1. Today I'm here to talk about the food options available from the Sustain Supply Emergency Kits. The kits come with Mountain House dehydrated food. These pouches are very popular among hikers, backpackers, survivalists, preppers, for a very good reason. They're easy to use. They simply require hot water. They're tasty, they're nutritious, and in the pouches, they last about 25 years. To use these is simplicity itself. You take a pouch, Tear open the top, inside there's a little silicon packet, this isn't spice, you don't want to open this up and sprinkle it over your food. Takes two cups of water to rehydrate one pouch. If you don't have clean water available to you at home or wherever you are, each of the kits comes with several water pouches. To rehydrate one pouch of food requires four of these water pouches. You would simply pour two cups of water into your pot, bring it to a boil over your stove. If power's out, that's why we include these handy little fold-up stoves. Once the water's boiling, you take it, carefully pour it into the pouch, Seal the Ziploc on the top of the pouch and then set it off to the side and let it rehydrate for about 10 minutes. After about four to five minutes, you'll want to take that pouch and you'll want to massage it a little bit so that way the water gets to all of the food in the pouch. The length of time required to rehydrate the pouch is noted on the back of the pouch. Different meals require different times. Once that time has elapsed, take the pouch out Open it up, use your spoon, and scoop out dinner for the family. These mountain house meals are a really great idea because it's real food. It's what people are accustomed to eating, and it's a hot meal. A hot meal increases morale, reduces stress during a disaster. If you have picky eaters at home, such as young children, they're not gonna bat an eye at rice and chicken. They've had rice and chicken before, they're not gonna know that this is special survival food. The food options available from the Sustain Supply Emergency Kits are designed specifically for you and your family to keep you sustained and to keep you comfortable during a disaster. Contaminated water and the subsequent illnesses that can arise from it can ruin a trip or a holiday. This is why at Live Systems we have developed the most effective chemical treatment for making contaminated water safe to drink. The active used is called chlorine dioxide and this powerful water disinfectant is effective at killing waterborne pathogens from viruses, bacteria and oocysts including Giardia and Cryptosporidium. Chlorine dioxide also leaves no residue taste in the water which is an added benefit when using this product. We offer this chemical in two formats in tablets and droplets. Each of these boxes contains 30 tablets, enough to treat 30 litres of water. However, 
If the water being treated is very cold or you suspect Giardia or Cryptosporidium to be present, simply add two tablets per litre of water being treated. Swirl gently and wait 10 minutes before use or wait 30 minutes if two tablets have been used. Once this time has passed, your water will be safe to drink. It's important to remember when using any chemical water treatment that the water being treated should be relatively clear. If there's any debris or matter in the water, this will reduce the effectiveness of the active being used. Particles should be removed either by straining the water through a piece of cotton or a similar weave fabric first. There you have it, my top recommendations for some of the best emergency survival gear. Make sure to click the video slide on the screen now to catch more of my content here on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe for tons more gear talk. I hope you enjoyed my compilation of the best emergency survival gear, and I will see you in the next video.